Welcome back to Ballroom Mastery. This week's routine episode is on the scintillating tango. We take a trip to Argentina for our version of the international style of tango. Now, pay attention to this dance. It's, it's like its own little planet compared to what we call the swing dances, which is the waltz, the foxtrot, the Viennese waltz, and the quick step. The tango is treated as its own separate dance. So if you'd like to learn more about it, please visit ballroommastery.com to get further training on the tango. But today we're gonna to go through a nice basic version and then an advanced version, which is gonna have some exciting figures in it. So stay tuned, check it out. And remember this dance is known as the dance that starts and stops. So pay attention to your timing, pay attention to your posture, and definitely pay attention to the footwork and how we use the feet and legs in tango versus the other dancers. Enjoy your tango and dance with us now. names for the basic tango. We take hold, two walks, left foot walk, right foot walk, progressive link, closed promenade, into our four step, now into our natural twist turn, note the ending is not going into promenade. We end with a back corte ending to finish facing diagonal to wall to repeat again. Timing for the basic tango. Take hold, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, 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 slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. names for the advanced tango. Take hold, start in promenade position with our natural promenade turn but ending in promenade. So it's checked. Then we go into a chair, slip pivot, contra check, back into promenade, step, a close, chasse to the right, back whisk, promenade. Now we go into a same foot lunge, with a turning five step ending. Now we end, end up with a chase ending. Back whisk into promenade, then a closed promenade to finish off the section. Uh, timing for the advanced tango. Take hold, slow, quick, 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 slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, quick and quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick and slow. And quick, quick, slow and slow. Slow. Quick, 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 quick. Quick and quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. 
We hope you have enjoyed doing the basic and advanced tango. I want to thank Maddie. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. Now, for those of you at home, pay attention to, of course, your footwork, your timing, and your posture. But when it comes to the timing of tango, note that there is a difference between the quick counts and the slow counts. The slow counts are referred to as legato or longer, so they're not as abrupt because the quick movements or the quick rhythm is what we refer to as staccato. So not every movement in tango is going to be sharp and crisp. Sometimes it's going to have that length, and then other times, basically like in a sentence, it's going to be like a one long sentence, and then you're going to have a comma, and you'll have an exclamation mark or a point at the end. The same with our dancing of tango. We have moments where they'll be slow and long, and we have moments that they'll be quick and accented and punctuated. So pay attention to your footwork. Enjoy their dance most of all, because it's a really fun dance to do. And leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit ballroommastery.com, where we help you master the art of ballroom dancing.